Here's how you can use Apple's Vision Pro to boost the productivity of your Mac. Hello everybody, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and Apple has launched Vision Pro nearly two weeks ago, and every day I become more and more smitten with the device. And lately, one of the biggest benefits that I have found to Apple's first mixed reality spatial computing headset is how it can boost my productivity on my Mac. And that really means anywhere, whether I'm here in the studio or whether I am on the road. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I use Vision Pro to get more productivity out of my Mac. I'm gonna show you first how it works and then I'll show you my specific use cases and why I think this is such a great companion device. Let's go ahead, strap in, and I'll show you how it works. To start, let's take a look at how the Mac and the Vision Pro can work together. One of my favorite things about Apple is the synergy between their products, and that extends here to Vision Pro and my MacBook Pro. I just slip on Vision Pro and I look at my Mac. A little button will show up that says connect, and when I select it, it'll turn my Mac into a hovering 4K display. That display is adjustable and repositionable. I can change its size and change where it's placed in my 3D environment. It's insane. To help further pull you into your work, if your office is cluttered or there's stuff going on around you, you can simply rotate the digital crown, which will then bring you into an immersive environment that completely can surround you. My personal favorite environment is Mount Hood. I just love sitting lakeside, especially when it starts to rain and you can hear just this little patter of rain coming from all around you. And the night version is also amazing with the night sky above you that you can just look at the stars. What's also very cool about these environments is they can completely surround you in 3D space or you can opt just to partially surround. That way you can still see down at your desk, but when you're looking forward, you still have this picturesque view in front of you, but you can still grab a pen and paper or your phone or whatever is laying down in front of you. It just allows you this nice disconnect from what's going on and your work without completely removing you from reality. This is honestly one of the parts that appeals to me the most. I don't get distracted by a messy room that I need to clean up. I don't get distracted by the animals running around. I can simply be pulled into my work and it's a huge boost to my focus and my productivity. And pause. Before I get into some of the best reasons that I love the Vision Pro for productivity, I have to thank our sponsor for this video, Setup. Now this is not part of the ad read or anything like that, but legitimately, do you guys know what I do every time I get a new Mac? One of the very first things, I install Setup. I've been a paying Setup user for year and it just keeps getting better and better. They just keep adding new apps that are so fun to just explore and are all included with your one subscription. They just added new ones for like managing uh, passwords, for transcribing speech and working with PDFs. It's really cool. So power up your workflow with 240 plus apps for daily tasks all under one subscription. Get set up and enjoy access to a hand-picked selection of vetted apps for Mac and iOS. Find apps in moments with Setup's AI-based search and tackle tasks like Mac maintenance, editing, writing, design, money management, and more. Try Setup free for seven days. There's a link down below in the description, or you can just scan this QR code that's on the screen. Do that. It's way even easier and faster. Thanks again to Setup for sponsoring this video. Apple has created so many little touches for this feature too. For example, when you are extending your display up, it'll turn off the display on your Mac. So that's gonna do a couple different things. It's first gonna save you battery life. You don't have to run the display on your Mac. And at the same time, it can also help for privacy because people can't see what's on your screen and they can't see what is inside a Vision Pro. Imagine working on a plane and you don't want someone peeping at whatever you're working on sitting right next to them. As an aside, I also kind of wish I just had a 14 inch MacBook Pro at this point. I mean, if I could work inside a Vision Pro, instead of needing a larger screen, I could get a more portable laptop and then bring this as a larger 4K display all around me. That just seems like a win-win. A Peripherals are also very cool. 
You can interact, of course, with Vision Pro just using your fingers. You could also pair something like a game controller if you were going to play games. But when you're trying to get work done, it's really hard to compete with things like a mouse or a trackpad and a keyboard. When you're extending your Mac's display, your keyboard and your mouse are also transported into Vision Pro. You just can simply move between your Mac's virtual desktop and any of your native Vision Pro apps. I could be here working in Final Cut on my Mac and then move over to a Microsoft Office document and just move my mouse over and it'll, it'll move and it'll look into like a little circle just like over on iPad. It's amazing. You can then use your mouse and keyboard with all of those native apps and experiences. It makes Vision Pro even more powerful on its own compared to when not using it with your Mac or a mouse and keyboard. It's one of those little Apple touches that just feels magical and just works. It makes it easier to work with your Mac, especially when dealing with a lot of text, but it can also give you more precise control over those Vision Pro apps. While working on my Mac, I can also set up a video screen to watch Apple TV Plus or Hulu or Disney movies or TV shows, or maybe in this case, Apple Insider YouTube videos. And that can go in one spot. My Twitter feed can rest in another. There's a calendar view, the current weather going on, and the Files app. Personally, while I obviously shoot a lot here in the studio, this isn't always where I'm editing. There are plenty of times where I escape the studios. I'm working at my desk, I'm working in the living room, I'm working outside, or maybe I'm working on a plane or a hotel room. Being able to bring with you a massive adjustable 4K monitor with you, basically anywhere, is absolutely game changing. These use cases are also very specific to me, and I get that. I mean, I'm dealing with video editing, photo editing, lots of text editing, and that's kind of like my jam. But there are so many other use cases for this. I mean, imagine you're trying to work on your car. You can pull up a YouTube video and step-by-step -step instructions while looking at your car's engine, assuming it's light enough that there's not too much noise being passed through from the Vision Pro. I can also see this for doctors and surgeons, being able to pull up these 3D models of the body and walk through a surgery before they go and actually perform it. The possibilities with Vision Pro for productivity and getting things done is absolutely limitless. It's a great experience, but there are downsides to working and being productive with Vision Pro. For example, you can only extend your Mac to one external monitor. Unless you only worked on one monitor before, it's hard not to see this as a severe limitation and step back for your productivity. By the way, this is just rumored, but apparently Apple engineers have a version of Vision Pro running two external monitors at once for your Mac. This would be huge. I would love if they released this, but I don't know if they will. It, it's just a rumor and an internal testing thing at this time, uh, but it would be great. Since Vision OS is also based on iPad OS, there's other limitations. For example, you can't program on Vision Pro. You have to connect your Mac to make that kind of stuff happen. Another issue with this though is the blurry, foveated rendering that happens on the outskirts of your vision. This can be especially problematic if you're dealing with something really big, like a number dense spreadsheet, because you're not gonna be able to look down at those numbers. They're going to be blurry and you're gonna need to move your head to actually bring them into focus. To compound that, and I totally get this as a first world problem here, but if you make your windows too big, you do have to move your head around a lot to track what is actually going on. The other day I was relaxing on my couch with my laptop in my lap and I'm pulling up this wonderful display and trying to interact with it, but because of this textured back to Apple's solo knit band, it was hitting my couch and it was making it really hard to actually turn my head. Seriously, again, first world problems, but it's something that I ran into that made it less likely for me to use it. In that scenario, I either had to use a different band or just not use Vision Pro to extend my display. Or I could just sit up and stop slouching, but then I'm not as comfortable. Finally, your AirPods. While it's really easy to connect them to Vision Pro, they don't just automatically move between two devices. Like I can't listen to two things at the same time. So if I'm watching a movie on my MacBook Pro, I can't connect them to the audio on my Vision Pro. It's one or the other when I'm using my Mac and my Vision Pro together. And that is a little bit annoying and can make things even more complicated when you're trying to do something like take a conference call. I think the amount of productivity that the Vision Pro can bring to the Mac is absolutely unparalleled. 
I mean, never before could you take something as small as a MacBook Air into a small space like a cafe or a plane and be able to open up this massive 4K private display that was unconstrained by the physical space it's in. It's amazing. I also think that we're gonna see more and more productivity apps coming from developers. I talked about a few of the other experiences that I can imagine, and I think we're only going to see more as Vision Pro becomes more mature and availability expands outside of the US. Despite the few downsides, I love using the Vision Pro with my Mac, and it's one of those things that just works. I think Apple can easily improve it further with a few small tweaks, like the ability to use two monitors with your Mac, and I hope that we don't have to wait for an upgraded processor to make that happen. Will I exclusively work inside a Vision Pro? No, but I can tell you when I need to focus and boost my productivity as much as I can, I'm absolutely going to be strapping on the Vision Pro. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU, on threads at Andrew Hera 941. Otherwise, stay tuned. Got a lot more videos coming your way.